Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back with the final review of the Terror in the Isles Challenge. This time, Jason and I watched Battlestar Galactica. Their destruction is complete. Battlestar Galactica is a 1978 sci-fi action with a little bit of horror movie, and it's featured in the television cut of Terror in the Isles. I'm actually glad Jason and I discovered this one in the TV cut, because if not for Terror in the Isles, I probably would have never watched this movie. I'm not much of a sci-fi guy. Don't get me wrong, I love Star Wars and plenty of other sci-fi flicks, but it's not my go-to genre. I've never really had any interest in watching Battlestar Galactica. In fact, I didn't even know this was a movie before it was a TV series. And that's what this 1978 film is, a prequel to the original series. I guess it's almost a feature-length pilot, in a way, with a runtime just over two hours long. Apparently, the original cut was about two and a half hours, but a lot of scenes had to be cut to make the film canon with the series. I gotta say, watching this movie has definitely spiked my interest in checking out the TV show. And that's what makes it so fitting as the last review. I was introduced to so many movies because of Terror in the Isles, and Battlestar Galactica is the most recent. How did I not know this existed? When we found out this was featured in Terror in the Isles, I had to buy this DVD. Let's be honest, Battlestar Galactica is a blatant ripoff of Star Wars. It just happens to be a really, really good ripoff. I loved this, and I can't believe how much I enjoyed it. I was not expecting to like it as much as I do. Watching Battlestar Galactica was like watching an undiscovered Star Wars episode. The movie is set in a time and galaxy when and where the human race is nearly extinct. After a thousand years of war, the humans and the Cylon Empire, which killed many of the humans, have reached an agreement for peace. As the humans, many of whom are part of the fleet of the Battlestar Galactica, attempt to meet and celebrate the peaceful union, they are suddenly attacked. It seems the Cylons have betrayed their pact, and they destroy the twelve colonies of humans. The Battlestar Galactica is the only warship left. It may be the end of the human race if the Battlestar Galactica can't make it to the thirteenth colony, a planet called Earth. Low on fuel, water, and other supplies? The survivors must first stop on a planet called Carillon. They are welcomed by the inhabitants and find what seems to be a peaceful paradise. Unfortunately, the treachery may not be over for the humans. The Carillon welcoming may not be as peaceful as they thought. Not only that, but the Cylons are still intent on destroying the entire human race. I'll say it again. Watching Battlestar Galactica was like watching a lost Star Wars film. I loved it. I really did. From the characters, to the set pieces, to the villains. The Cylons look awesome. They reminded me of metallic, silvery stormtroopers. The spaceships were well designed as well. Very much like those featured in the Star Wars saga. The movie is exciting from start to finish. The two-hour-plus runtime soars by. I couldn't believe how fast it seemed to begin and then end. I'd love to see the complete two-and-a-half-hour version someday. I definitely need to check out the TV series after watching Battlestar Galactica. Which brings me to my final relatable recommendation for the Terra in the Isles challenge. Serenity. Serenity is not a prequel film, but a movie that follows a sci-fi western TV series, Firefly. It continues the story of that short-lived show. I was a huge Firefly fan, so I was thrilled when this movie was released. Serenity, like Firefly, which it follows, 
is described as a sci-fi western, much like Battlestar Galactica. Have you seen it? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. And please be sure to check out Jason's review. This challenge is complete. We've done it, guys. It's officially over. The Terror in the Isles challenge is done. Thank you so much for joining us as we've watched and reviewed all 86 films featured in Terror in the Isles. This has been quite the journey and something Jason and I have been wanting to do pretty much all our lives. As we explained in that initial Terror in the Isles challenge introduction video, this was a big part of our childhood. Well, more so my childhood. Jason is, of course, a little bit older. Regardless, Terror in the Isles has a special place in both of our hearts, so we loved doing this challenge. And don't forget, Jason and I will be ranking all of the films very soon. Stay tuned for that. After the Fangoria challenge, and then this one, I'm sure we'll come up with something else in the future. But until then, thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind, subscribe.